resident doctor, Dr. Darren Green, is joining me in studio, and today we are talking about gout. Now that rhymed. We're talking about gout. Now, yeah. what is gout? I've been hearing more and more about gout lately. A lot of people speaking about it. What is it? It's an expressive uh, word. Uh, it refers to a raised level of uric acid in the human body. So you can imagine that the pH level or the acidity levels are changed dramatically depending on our diet, depending on our lifestyles and habits. So when you have a raised level of uric acid in the body, it manifests in different ways. One of the ways typically is when you have uh, basically a sediment of, of crystals forming in certain joints. And the big culprits are normally the big toe uh, or the ankle joint, normally it's a single joint at a time and the pain comes on quite acutely. So it's red and swollen and painful, but within a matter of hours it goes from zero to hero in terms of pain. And it's associated, as I say, with the metabolic uh, effects of raised uric acid levels. Now how do you get raised uric acid level? It depends on what you eat. So a uh, processed red meat uh, is a big one, as well as so things like... like bacon and biltong, those kinds of... Things. Yeah, things like uh, your burevors, things like mince, things like cold meats and, and hams and all that kind of thing, mm -hmm. correct? And then, of course, uh, along with that, obviously, alcohol is a big one. Everyone immediately thinks we, we're implying that they're alcoholics when we speak about gout. But there are many other metabolic causes uh, of, of gout specifically as well. But certainly, so your lifestyle around alcohol, around red meat, and other things that, that raise your pH, uh, or not raise it, rather lower your pH levels and, and lead to a byproduct of uric acid being formed, that's what leads to, to, to the crystal formation in different parts of the human body. Now, how do you know if you have it? Well, firstly, you can suffer for a long time with a low degree of raised uric acid levels and have no symptoms. But when, uh, when you have suffered from gout once, you'll know it's such an acute pain. It comes on really rapidly uh, and you normally then have pain, which signifies that you've got a, an inflama inflammatory process happening in the joint specifically. And then, uh, of course, you'll, you'll also notice that it responds very quickly to drugs like anti-inflammatories or uh, uric acid lowering drugs that we give called colchicine. So those are useful in the acute stage, but what is obviously better is prevention rather than the cure. So if you're known to develop raised uric acid levels, you need to watch what you eat, you need to rehydrate enough and obviously then regulate the pH of your body. Now watching what you eat, would that mean just cutting back on processed red meats and trying not to drink as much alcohol as before? Correct, and then obviously drinking sufficient water in your day so that uh, you can regulate the pH level chemically like that as well. So that's how to prevent it. Once you have it, how do you treat it? Should you go to the doctor? Should you stay at home and do something? <laughs> so, so, so treatment is based, basically uh, divided up into acute therapy. So if you have a relapse right now, your toes all swollen and red, You'll go to the doctor, you, you, you'll firstly be given something for the inflammation, the swelling and the pain. Uh, along with that, you'll take a drug, uh, which I mentioned earlier, called colchicine, uh, which you take two to three times a day to lower the uric acid levels. One of the side effects of taking that drug, however, when you know that, it's, that you've taken too much of it, is diarrhea. So your doctor will normally instruct you to take that tablet every four to six hours or until you develop diarrhea as a side effect. And that lowers the uric acid level quite significantly, acutely. Then there's the, the maintenance or chronic therapy, which we use things like allopurinol for. And those are to keep the levels at bay over a long period of time. The sort of maintenance therapy for people that are prone to developing gout. So one would then certainly take that as a chronic medication long term if you have recurrent uh, exacerbations and relapses. Well, today we learned all about gout. Thank you very much for coming in. Absolute pleasure.